Welcome to another week of my life. Isaac, do you watch my week of my life vlogs? Yeah. I don't believe you. This morning, I went to Duncan. I thought it would be nice to get everybody a little sweet treat after the night that they had. Not me and Isaac, though. But anyway, I was like, since I thought about that, and I've been thinking about the Duncan coffee, because I haven't had a Duncan coffee in forever. But... <laughs> try oh because i said try your safe it's good damn that is sweet i mean it's not bad but it's sweet oh i thought you liked sweet coffee though it's, oh, it's always it's not bad because duncan it either tastes like gasoline or it tastes gas so <laughs> <laughs> i love when isaac laughs at my jokes that's the only time i feel funny let's see i'm scared because i'm a coffee critic <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It's, this sweats so much. Anyway, currently I am editing the previous week of my life that I want to get up either today or tomorrow. Isaac is about to leave, so I'm about to leave. And then when I get home, I have to clean my room. I have major depression room going on right now. Like, it's bad. Like, it's terrible. I think I'm gonna rate this a six. I don't think I would drink the whole thing, but it's, not terrible also their cold foam sucks anyway so i'm working right now i'm gonna show isaac our little pickleball unedited it's gonna be funnier when i edit it you have to watch the vlog okay. but i'm gonna show him that okay guys i'm out of the shower so it is time to clean my room but first and foremost let's go downstairs because there's something that i need before we start come on Charlie. did he so tired oh my god my room's a mess that's so cute mom jump scare for real i'm not even gonna lie to you it is quite literally like hours later it is 7 30 p.m right now when i was like okay wait hold on before we get to cleaning my room like i have to do a few things i went downstairs filled up my stanley grabbed an Alani, and laid down in my bed because genuinely and i mean genuinely i was tired to the point where like sometimes i'm tired and i hit like a midday slump and i'm like i can go grab an Alani. And we'll be fine. No, I was so tired that genuinely, like, as soon as I hit the bed, my eyes were closed. I literally woke up, ate dinner, and then I blow dried my hair, and I just, like, blow dried the roots and everything, so some of my hair is still wet. I just really don't have it in me to do the whole nine yards with my Dyson and, like, get it all cute. All that matters to me is that my roots are blow dried. So, anyway, I'm about to clean my room because genuinely, even my dad, when he went to leave for work, he, like, opened my door and he was like, oh, wow usually that's usually my sign to clean my room is when my parents walk in my room and they're like then I'm like yeah I should clean this I do have quite a few boxes we're gonna do a little unboxing because I figured that it's better to unbox this stuff and then clean my room than to clean my room and then unbox this stuff and get a mess so let's unbox these these are literally so heavy they're so heavy darling Okay, first of all, before we unbox those, I did get a home goods the other day and I didn't show this in my other week in life vlog. I have a lot of fall decorations that I bought last year, but there are just like a few things that I wanted to update. I have been looking for the pink ghost pillows because when I decorate my room for fall, it's like pumpkins, ghosts, all things like cute and folly, but it's like colorful is the theme because my room is colorful. So I like the colorful decorations, not just like orange and black and white. So I've been on the lookout for those. Have not been able to find them. I bought two of these. They say, hey boo, with little ghosts and little just like Halloween-y stuff that's colorful. They are so cute. This is going to be going on my window seat. I also found these for over there too, which they are little bats and this one's pale pink i also got like a lilac one 
but they just look like this. Charlie's definitely looking at them like they are a stuffed animal. Then I just got this blanket. And then earlier when I got back, I made my mom go to Bath and Body Works because right now, today, their candles were $14. And so they just released their fall stuff. I actually, the other day, that their candles were $12 last week. And I went and got a bunch over at Isaac's house. I think I talked about that in my last week in life. That I got a bunch for Isaac, like for isaac's house a bunch of false scents and they had like they were stocked over in bloomington didn't have that many i'm hoping that they start to like add more cinnamon spice vanilla pumpkin apple and then i got pumpkin vanilla cream and then of course i got pumpkin spice latte so yeah i'm about to light one of these why am i still so tired i'm literally uh, okay what i have to unbox with you guys basically what i like to do is i like to buy clothes shoes accessories anything like that before we get into that season because usually problems that i ran into is like when i go into the season like when fall fall's coming up when i go to buy these like cute sweaters or jeans or whatever they're sold out because everybody has like already got to them so what i've started to do with like shoes clothes and like even decorations is i will literally like buy them like way before fall like in indiana honestly even in september and even like the beginning of october it is kind of like very warm like we kind of don't get rid of the warmth for a while i like to have the clothes for when it does and i don't have to like go out seeking for them and on the lookout for like fall and winter these are going to be winter clothes as well but like i bought them for the fall these i bought multiple of these these are my favorite hoodies ever if you guys see me wear my plain brown hoodie it is my comfort hoodie i i put it on all the time and it is from abercrombie and i think it's called like the essentials like hoodie but i got it in this like kind of purple i don't know what color you call this but i got it in this purple color i also got it in this green color i also got it in this plain gray color I really did not realize that i bought so many of this hoodie but genuinely it is such a comfy hoodie that i literally like every single time that the brown hoodie that i have is washed i am throwing that bad boy on i'm sure if you guys watch all my videos you guys can tell that i always have it on this one is kind of like a brown it's kind of like a brownish gray also this stuff was on sale when i bought it also because these clothes aren't necessarily in season right now i can usually get them on sale i also got it in plain black this is like a navy blue sweater very lightweight too so like even on the days where it's like not super hot this is like a super lightweight material and then i also got this just like plain gray cardigan i did not know that i got this just like a plain again look just like i like their plain tees i also got it in this gray color okay i ordered two pairs of jeans high rise they're the curve love ones i can only ever get these short jeans online this wash though oh, i need to try these on these are the 90 straight ultra high rise again 24 i mean 27 for short oh yeah these will be good then i got a few things from gray bandit which i'm so excited about their clothes are so cute i know the stuff that i bought from here is actually clothes for the beach trip i'm going on these are like a lot thicker than i thought they would be so i got this top for the beach okay this is a dress that i saw multiple people have on in pink but they were sold out of the pink one and i'm so sad about it but it's strapless and it kind of goes like this and you can like kind of scrunch the side as much as you want and it kind of the cut goes like this i feel like i'm gonna look like a poly pocket okay then i got the same pants in this cream color i'm literally in love with this sweater it is just a cream and it has this little like it's kind of cable but it's kind of just regular i got it in this green color as well sweater it's like colorful but it also gives fall because of the colors like orange and green it has a pink in there this is from american eagle and i literally saw somebody post on tiktok they were like look at american eagles like fall collection it is so amazing so they came out with like a whole entire collection of fall stuff first of all we have this purple shirt and it just is snoopy with a little pumpkin so i have these little they little uh ghosts on them they're so freaking cute this one is a little mickey mouse that says feeling spooky on it oh my gosh i'm so glad i got this oh my gosh they are these like boxers with snoopy on them but guys these are so soft they don't feel like bo i'm only wearing boxers right now that i just like buy from target but these are like they feel so soft i literally was looking to see if they had another like print but i don't think that they did i can see myself having a spooky fall themed night with popcorn 
and fall themed snacks and like having like a Halloween Friday the 13th little marathon with some of the socks guys and i got this shirt and i'm pretty sure i don't know if this was like for fall or they just did this but it's the grateful dead these are the dreamy drape baggy wide leg they are also 27 and then they're for short oh yeah because these have like a bunch of rips in them and i just thought they were so cute y'all look at that that is so freaking cute this one is another one that i saw and it was like these little pumpkin people with their little pumpkin spice lattes which I also got this shirt and it is just like a bunch of little, I feel like Halloween-ish. Yeah, these are like some cargo sweats. Got this shirt and it's a little skeleton. One I love, it says come alive and it's a little Mickey Mouse. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys know I love a tote bag. I'm pretty sure it's like, yeah, it's the same print as the t-shirt that I got, but it's in the little tote bag. I also got another pair. These are like two packs and it says spooky season. Like with these little designs and this one just says spooky season. When did that start? Like who started saying spooky season? And they should have really trademarked that. Y'all, it is so hot in my room that I'm actually sweating right now. Okay guys, so that is the little haul that I, not little, that's a big haul that I have for you guys. And like I said, that was like the bulk of the fall clothes that I'm going to buy. So I, I don't foresee myself, like I don't really think I'm going to buy that much else. So now it's time to actually clean my room. and it's four o'clock in the afternoon i have been a little busy bee today a little rundown woke up went to the gym went to my eyelash appointment then i came home and oh and we took charlie to the groomer and then i came home and then i had to run a few errands and now we're back home and charlie's back from the groomer look at how cute she looks they did a great job she always comes back with these little bows in her hair that she absolutely hates but she looks so cute hi babe sorry for the absolute dog voice but she just looks so cute but i'm basically posting a giveaway on my instagram for my college students out there because i know that college is hard and i really wanted to set somebody up with some nice little college essentials so i'm about to set all the stuff up to take the picture for the giveaway but i have to unbox this amazon package okay i simply cannot find my scissors but anyway i just on one of my errands i got this pink yeti because it's like the perfect size this can fit in your cup holder yetis are really good it has the little flip straw like the hydro flasks do and i feel like it's very campus friendly and then of course how to get a backpack look at how cute this north face backpack is it's very colorful very cute and it goes with everything that we kind of got going on as a little theme i'm just using my thumb to open up this box so first of all we have the ipad it is the ipad 10th generation 64 gigabyte it's the pink one which i thought was super cute this is like all dinged up what Okay, everything is still in there, but this looks like an open box one. But anyway, it's a magic keyboard to go with it because iPads, you can take notes on them. I know I used to love Notability when I was in school to use on my iPad. And then the magic keyboard to go with it. That way you can turn it into a laptop if you need to. 
And then of course we have the Apple Pencil because I love my iPad and my Apple Pencil. Since we are all some bookish girlies, I actually wanted to give away just a few. I feel like this is like the Destiny starter pack for your books from what I could think of. I was very like scatterbrained when I went to Barnes, but I got love theoretically because that is like one of the books that I've loved recently. Akatar, literally of course for a YA book of course I chose better than the movies and then I couldn't not include Happy Place by Emily Henry with all of this as well I actually put a hundred dollar Barnes card in this that way you guys can also choose a book to your liking oh and then I also got this little weekly planner look at how cute this is it has like a bunch of little destination greeting cards and it's a weekly planner do your little to-do list and like what you have to do so I thought that that was so freaking cute and then we also have a two hundred dollar Target gift card because I know that there may be school supplies that you guys need to get or anything that you need from target so that is what is going on with that giveaway again i don't know if it's open or closed literally i'm just posting on my instagram there's no like rules you just have to be following me and other than that i just really wanted to bless somebody and give them kind of what i see as college essentials i never went to college but i know that if i was going to college these are like some of the main things that i would want slash really appreciate i'm going to take a picture of these and then maybe post them today maybe post them tomorrow I don't know. That is what's going on for right now. And I think now I'm going to sit down and try to get through all of these books that I have to read. That's what's going on. Okay. Good morning. Let's go downstairs and let's grab an Alani. Also, I got this package from Bloom yesterday. They sent over their new uh, greens flavor, which I'm really excited to try. It is strawberry kiwi. Look how cute this box is. Oh my gosh. Lately... Actually, let me light my candle. No, I'll light that in a second. Lately, I have really been wanting to buy books. One more month. Today's August 1st. And since today's August 1st, also today, I'm going to sit down and show you guys what I do at the start of the month. That's what we're going to do after I get home from the gym today. I'm going to plan out the whole entire month, show you guys what I do on Notion, all of that stuff. So... biceps day got the outfit on let's go hey guys i'm done at the gym this week i know like i said this is like a monthly reset and that's what it is also for like a month or maybe even more than a month i had been like going to the gym later in the grand scheme of things it doesn't matter like it really honestly doesn't matter what time i go to the gym it's just for some reason ever since i've been in high school i would wake up well when i was in high school specifically my senior year i would wake up at 5 a.m because also it was like a trend when i was a senior in high school this was 2021 and it was a trend like all over youtube waking up at 5 a.m for the week and it was like a kind of like a that girl thing like the that girl phenomenon and i was doing that so since my senior year of high school i correlated like waking up like before dawn broke going to the gym as the only way that i was going to be successful for the day <laughs> Like the truck just went in front of the ambulance. But anyway, like even if I got so much stuff done for the day, the only way that I found myself to be successful was that I woke up at 5 a.m. and went to the gym. And so for the last month, I've been going at like maybe 9, maybe 10, you know. And I, for some reason, felt bad about it, even though I was still going to the gym for like the same amount of time, doing the same exact thing that I would do if I went early in the morning. I like all the whole entire time I woke up at like 6 a.m. and I went to the gym and i go through the seasons i feel like always in the winter i try to wake up at 5 a.m and i feel like maybe it's because my seasonal depression is so bad that i feel like if i don't force myself to wake up at 5 a.m that i'm not gonna go to the gym this month starting this month like i wake up at 7 like i woke up at 7 this morning and like got up went to the gym and i like it honestly better like i'm not just saying this because like it's like like i said i feel like i'm not successful um i genuinely feel better if i go to the gym early like right now it's 10 a.m and i don't have to worry about it because like the gym is a place that i like have to go and i know i'm spending like two hours there because like today i spent two hours at the gym and i know i'm spending that much time there so it's like i know that that's going to take a big bulk of time of like videos that i'm doing breeding anything that i have to do work wise in the day so with this monthly reset i have been trying to get myself back to like waking up earlier like my alarm goes off at 6 a.m every day some days i'll get up and run with that some days i will turn it off which is most days honestly i turn it off and then i get back up at like 7 or something i've always been an early riser like i've never been someone to sleep in 
but for the last like month i could sleep until like 9 a.m and i felt so discombobulated but i let my body do that because you're like seasons not just like actual seasons but sometimes your life has seasons of change and maybe for the past like month and month and a half my body has needed that extra time of rest to kind of get back into the groove and now i feel fine and i'm waking back up early again so that is that i'm changing up my routine because i've told you guys so many times that my workout split was like monday tuesday wednesday rest day thursday then i go friday saturday rest day sunday but now that i go down to bloomington from friday to sunday i have decided to just do monday through friday i'm going to the gym and that way on the weekends when i'm down in bloomington i don't even have to worry about going to the gym i am about to go home and then we will plan out august you okay come on babe okay my bag so right now i'm going to starbucks because i'm picking up a coffee and a little yogurt because i don't have i'm like on a grocery strike I, I do need to go to the grocery at some point today i'm probably gonna go later or i'm gonna get them delivered one of the two i just don't feel like going to the grocery right now and we genuinely have like nothing i made a joke to my mom i was like are we on grocery strike like none of us collectively not her not me my brother none of us going to the grocery store i do have to go later but moral of the story i don't have any coffee or anything i got so i'm just gonna go get a coffee from starbucks Y'all, I seriously think that Aquaphor is drying out my lips. I say this as I keep putting it on. But anyway, I've been putting this on and I just feel like my lips, okay, Charlie. This, this chick just over here rolling on the floor like I'm not trying to talk. You just met me on the door. We all know how my days start off. Yesterday, I didn't vlog because genuinely did what I said. I think the last clip I was like, oh, I'm gonna go like organize all my videos and that's what I was doing. Um, no, actually, I still don't know what videos I'm filming, but I did all of that and I edited a vlog, my, my week in the life vlog. I don't know when that's going up. Actually, maybe I'll post that today and I'll post my wrap up tomorrow. Let's go. Oh so yeah, yesterday I planned out my videos and I edited my week in the life and I sent that over. And then I filmed my wrap up video. I filmed a TBR video. So today I have to edit all of those. I didn't vlog after I did all that because I was really behaving crazy because I was having, I literally ended up having an anxiety attack at one point. I was just laying on my floor and then I just went and laid in bed literally that's all i did last night anyway off topic but i saw this i need to get my nails done it's like something that needs to happen look at them i should get them done today should definitely get them done today what should i do i saw this woman on tiktok yesterday she had two red bulls and she opened her can with another red bull don't know how that works logistically but gluten hamstrings die that may go get dressed trying to like dance myself into happiness and it's not working with our monthly reset we are on our workout routine grind planned out the notion i wrote down kind of like all the stuff that i have to do for the month brainstorm some video ideas so now we just execute that oh you know what else i have to do today grocery shop it's another monthly reset after grocery shop also let me show you guys this i was burning this candle and look at like the flame heated the thing so much that the plastic like covering on this started melting D don't know don't know what's up with that i wish they had doggy daycare like you could bring your dogs to the gym i wish they had that okay let me grab my money and head out the door Okay guys, so I'm in the car. It's 2.30 right now. What day is it? 
Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. I had to run a few errands with my mom and I was gonna go to the grocery store, but then I was like, you know what? Target literally has like this delivery service. And so I was just gonna, I so now I'm just getting my groceries delivered to me and they should be here at like three because I just despise grocery shopping. Sometimes I like it. Like sometimes I'm genuinely like, yeah, I could throw in some AirPods and like grocery shop, but like today, not one of those days, babe. My anxiety through the roof. I've literally, multiple places that me and my mom have went, I've almost broke down in tears in every single one of them. So it's not really working. But anyway, I did secure a half price coffee because on Wednesdays until I think it's like the end of August, if you're using the app, the any cold drink is half price after 12 on Wednesday. So I got an ice bright mocha and they put the whipped cream on it, which it's my fault. I forgot that they put whipped cream. But I made a post on my Instagram story because I miss the like 2012, 2013, 2014 Tumblr Starbucks era and when they had the straw lids. Like the lid that's like a regular like soda lid where you have the lid and it has a straw in it. I miss that. Also, I'm in my old car right now with my mom because now it's my mom's car. Because when I got my Bronco, my mom took this car. So if you ever see me in this car, we still have it. It's just not mine anymore. It's my mom's. Okay. Yeah. Mine. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, which is usually a rest day for me. We're not going to the gym right now, though, but I am taking Charlie to the vet. She's a vet appointment. Me and Charlie are gonna head on over to the vet, and if she's good, she will get a TREAT somewhere. Are you listening? Get up here crazy girl she has to go get shots today heart guard and everything like that to make sure and ensure that she is happy and healthy and we are taking all the preventative measures why are my brakes feeling so like ah, ah. she's usually very good at the vet even when she got shots last year she literally acted like she couldn't even feel them like she was so good about it charlie just loves people so much that she's just so distracted by the fact that there's like a new person in her face that she's getting like needles in her fur so anyway that's what we're doing and then when i get home i'm going well i'm going to post my july wrap up and then when i get home i'm going to do the thumbnail for my august tbr and then i'm going to send that over and then honestly, I will probably at some point today start editing this because I want to get it sent over tomorrow. realize that I never vlogged after the vet and that story is that me and Charlie came back from the vet everything's good she's all good except she did full-on embarrass me in the office because the vet came in and she has issues with her left ear and so he was giving her some medicine in her ear for her ear and she doesn't bite she's not aggressive at all but she like squiggles herself out of everything and will run away from you and she scratched me like she scratched me she was panicking about him touching her she doesn't like her ear being touched but other than that it went good i sent over like everything that i needed to do and i was going to start editing this video but then i didn't because i don't feel like it today when i was in the vet's office and i got a clip of it literally i opened instagram and the first post is Taylor Swift announcing that she extended the U.S. tour for like a few shows after the European part of the tour. And guess what? She's doing a three night, three night consecutive days in a row in Indianapolis, 15 minutes away from where I live. And literally just the other day, I was telling my mom that, you know, like the L.A. shows are currently going on and that that's like the end of her tour and i literally told my mom because you guys know i talked about like the cincinnati show how that was the closest show to me and i was super bummed because i didn't get to go to that show and i like this i i went through the process of trying to get tickets literally so many times and never got them. all of my friends people and from my hometown like go to the cincinnati show go to just different shows and i was so upset i was like man i want to go so bad so when i opened up and so she's coming to indiana and i signed up for the pre-sale verification code i will get an email the 8th if i got one and then the tickets go on sale the 9th guys i'm genuinely freaking out like i need tickets i just want to go so so bad and 
I was already having bad anxiety and then that made it even worse. It made it even worse. Look at like my hands. When I very start feeling super anxious, this starts happening to my fingers. A few minutes ago, I literally had to like put my hand over my heart because it was beating so fast. Not over the toes sort of thing, just like I'm having a wild time. Okay, House of Juniper. They sell some like bookish merch and they had a happy place drop and y'all. This shirt is so freaking cute. So I ordered a crew neck and a shirt from their launch. Oh, they're like so personal and cute. Look, I love it. I've seen Sarah. Sarah has like a Magnolia Parks crew neck from them. And they're so, like their stuff is so cute, genuinely. My name and put a little card in. That's, that would literally take forever. So props to them for giving everybody a little card. That's so cute. Guys, look at how cute and personable all this is. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, it's literally i'm kind of stupid oh my gosh they just said thank you so much for your order we are huge fans of yours at house of juniper and couldn't help throwing in a few extra goodies keep killing it girl this is why i love i love a girl's girl okay i love how i love baby cow and a book girly i appreciate you guys i'm going to post this on my instagram story so i ordered this because i literally went to unbox this because i want to wear this to the movies if we go watch barbie because they did a happy place drop they have this barbie pink shirt guys look at how cute this is and it's in yellow you guys know yellow one of my favorite colors pink one of my favorite colors and they did it together and it says this ain't my first rodeo guys, this shirt is so cute and it's such good quality and it's not harbor maine you're all of my happiest places and it's in this amazing blue color that i absolutely love oh my god guys look at this it's the court of thorns and roses look at that that is so freaking cute i'm obsessed i'm obsessed look it's literally a shirt and it says enemies to lovers forced proximity is always appreciated the one bed trope never misses and it has these little oh my god we and amazing for this why do you guys even like me you know i always feel like that even little things like this time i just always ask myself I'm like, why do you guys even like watch me and this is just so sweet thank you guys so much genuinely if you guys are watching this vlog i'm about to post an instagram story but thank you guys literally so much just for the thoughtfulness of this it might have been my last week in the life vlog i can't remember but i talked about sincerely amanda and she's over on etsy and she makes these bookmarks and i had ordered some bookmarks because she like made some bookmarks inspired by me so i literally was like hello i had to buy them she sent me some of her new bookmarks look team conrad literally slay gibsy that's the tweet are you joking me literally flooding chloe walsh's dms being like please tell me that gibsy and claire's books is next please chloe i have to pre-order thanks for reminding me guys i have to pre-order the covers <gasps> no one talked to me the new covers that she just announced they are amazing this one i literally did kind of shed tears over it says shannon like the river will you please be my friend yes or no signed by johnny january 10th 2005 it's just so freaking cute i literally want to get this tattooed on my body and then this one says call me a callaway sister literally just you guys being way too kind to me genuinely you guys being so freaking kind that i love you guys i'm so happy okay i'm genuinely so happy but i am about to put that t-shirt on especially if we go to barbie are you joking also addressing i like won't stop talking addressing my lips so in my last week in my vlog i was talking about how like i've been waking up with swollen lips and stuff and some people were like oh maybe it's sunburn maybe it's this i haven't been like laying outside and I, the only time i put on aquaphor was after my lips swelled up because i was like okay maybe they're chapped and so i know it's not a sunburn and a lot of you guys told me that your guys's lips swell up when you're stressed and i have been having the worst anxiety and stress for the past probably like two three weeks now <sighs> literally me trying to breathe through this is hard so i think that's what it is and that's awesome so yeah that's that's officially the end of this clip and rant what's up everybody i told you guys that i was gonna automatically put this shirt on but anyway i just got back from the barbie movie and i am about to self-tan and edit for the rest of the night so that is going to conclude today's vlog because there's not really much else to vlog but i hope you guys enjoyed our little monthly reset if you did you guys know what to do like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff that you guys know how to do and i just wanted to say before this video ends that i really really appreciate the positive feedback and 
I was about to say reviews. <laughs> okay, okay, book. I was about to say, but the positive feedback that I get on my Week in the Life vlogs and you guys telling me how much you actually enjoy them because it makes me actually want to like sit down and edit them and stuff because sometimes it's hard. I feel like when it's you and you are looking at like so many hours of footage of you basically just like talking to a camera, you can get very self-critical and get into a dark place mentally. To read your guys' positive comments about how much you guys enjoy them does mean a lot to me if you guys don't think it does it does okay i hate being um sentimental and i'm sweating because of it so i will see you guys when i see you peace